Okay, this is uh, the main entrance. Uh, they're building a new one right, right in back of where I'm standing now. So when that comes up, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you that one. So hopefully I'll uh, speak quick enough and uh, give you time. Pause anytime you want, okay? This is a, uh, a light tower, and I'm going to show you inside the building where it actually uh, originally sat. Uh, we're going to take a walk over in the flight line uh, side. Uh, a lot of these aircraft I'd never worked on. There's about four or five of them I have worked on. So like I said in the beginning, pause where you need to and you can read the little signs. Uh, hopefully you can see them in the front. All right, these are a lot of training uh, aircraft here. And then um, we have uh, the A7 Corsair, which I had a lot to do with in A-School. And uh, the A4, which is coming up. That's F4. Uh, I worked on that also. Uh, F14 um, coming up at nine years of working on that guy. So a lot of, a lot of time on that. Um, then we have some more. I, I think these are training aircraft coming up. The S3 uh, is coming up pretty soon. This is an E2. No, that's actually a COD. That, that's a that's a COD. Something that carried all the, the gear and stuff onto the aircraft. Uh, not too sure what that is. Uh, I'm thinking another training one. There's a whole bunch of these little tiny uh, airplanes all over the place. And I uh, just don't have the background on these. So uh, feel free to throw your inputs on them. Um, that's uh, one of the SAR aircraft, uh, Search and Rescue. Uh, they use those on the carriers. Uh, these guys vibrate like you wouldn't believe. If you ever took a ride in one of those because the two uh, engines are spinning, it's just a lot of vibrating on these kind of uh, helicopters. Um, I got a feeling those were the same, but that's okay. Gives you more time with them. Uh, I think one was dark and one was bright. No, whatever. I'm not going to delete it from the video. This is the E2 Hawkeye. Uh, and they, they go out. If you ever watched the final countdown, that's the one that detects the fleet. The, that's the F-18 there. That's, they detected the uh, Japanese fleet coming in. The final countdown is a really cool movie to watch. Um, uh, moving right along the aircraft. And uh, hopefully I don't have any, any more uh, duplicate. Uh, these are, I think these are radar jammings. I, I'm not sure what these things are. There's no signs in front of them either. Uh, that's a... That's a, one, a single engine with two intakes. Uh, I think this is uh, the type of helicopter I took a flight off the Nimitz um, to meet my family back in San Francisco. S3 aircraft, uh, the last aircraft I worked on, carried the buddy store. It's a pretty cool looking aircraft. I got a picture from the other side coming up too. Yeah, it's just a, a weird looking, it looks like a mouth on something, <laughs> the intake. Okay, this is a buddy store coming up, an AR, uh, aerial refueling store. I worked on these for quite some time. I was CD, uh, R, Q, A, R. Um, the whole works on these. That's a schematic from inside, and uh, it'd be nice to get a job at the at this museum just to go over all the things that. Uh, this is the basket. That's the guillotine right there. Uh, the silver thing right in front of you. The baskets on the right. We had to check all those for uh, things. This is we couldn't get back in this area because there's a function going on. But I took pictures side by side, and uh, that's where all the engines are. And uh, to the right is where the function was going on. And then. Uh, these are some of the flight gear. In fact, that's my sister squadron. That's uh, VF-14, uh, and I was in uh, VF-211. Uh, that's where the lighthouse sat on. And that's the building. So uh, I, I didn't include the video with these, uh, I mean the sound with these videos, because uh, people were in there and they were talking. I don't want to get their voices on. Uh, so um, uh, just some pretty neat things around to look at. If you ever stop by and visit, uh, this gives you a little preview. And probably by the time you get here, the new museum will be uh, built. And uh, the whole different layout. But uh, definitely pause. If you want to I don't know if you can get close enough to read those uh, signs, but if you want to try and pause and zoom in or something, you can uh, give that a try. That's a resting gear, resting hooks. And this facility is actually at NES Packed River. Uh, it's all the way back in the restman area, and they test uh, on land um, uh, catapult and resting. Well, which uh, are probably resting gear uh, more than catapult. So uh, pretty neat. Those are different carriers. And a whole bunch of history. 
about the wars and with uh, the, all the different battles. Great research area. If you have somebody in school, a child in school going over this period, what a great area, museum to come to to, to actually uh, take pictures of things and include it in your, your book report. So really nice. And uh, winding down the video now. Uh, so uh, I, I just wanted to include this on the travels section of my, uh, my playlist. And um, hey, if you want to stop by, you know, uh, send me a message. I'll meet you there. Have a good time. Well, the, the sound cut off at the very end. So if you do plan on visiting uh, Southern Maryland and want to visit that museum, uh, feel free to uh, message me uh, via YouTube or yeah, my contact information is all over the place. So if you want to, uh, shoot, shoot me a message, and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to meet you and walk you around the place. Hopefully I get a job there, and uh, you'll see me there anyway at the new place. All right, take care. Subscribe if you want. Bye.